Namaste and welcome. We're going to be doing a vinyasa flow class. We're focusing on binding, so get yourself a strap if you need one for bind. Place that off to the side of your mat. Now we're going to start on shins. Bringing big toes together, spread your knees wide. Slide your arms forward and sink your forehead down. Start to center your mind. Focusing on the flow of your breath. Each time you breathe out, dropping into your armpits, dropping into your chest. And now even though we're binding, we're going to be doing some twists as well. So let's start now, threading your right arm under your chest, turning your face to the side, stretching long through both arms. Allow the hips to become heavy and to sink. And then reach your right arm forward, change and take the left arm under, turning your face to the other side, here to the mat. Each exhale, feeling the lower back and the hips sink deeper down. And then reaching your left arm forwards. Nice long, even stretch through both arms. Maybe even sliding your thumbs in so that your thumbs touch each other. And then let's make our way up onto hands and knees. Coming into cats and cows, warming up the spine. Inhale and look forwards. Exhale and round the back up, squeezing the belly into your back. Let your breath get even fuller and deeper now. And coming back into a flat spine. We're twisting again, right arm spread behind the left wrist, shoulder to the ground. Check those hips are straight up over your knees and slide the left arm forward. Balance the weight across your two shins and your two hips. Bringing your left hand back, push to all fours, and we twist it to the other side, taking your left arm through, left shoulder down, right arm reaches forward. Press the tops of the feet down into the ground. Keep sinking your shin bones. Each exhale, dropping deeper into the left shoulder, deeper into the left upper back. And bringing your right hand back, push up to all fours. We're going to make our way into down dog, so hands a little bit further forward. Pack your toes under, lift your hips and stretch back into the heels for a couple of breaths. 
Shake the toes feet to parallel. Relax your neck. And then take your feet forwards to your hands. Sink down over the thighs. And now we're going to take some twists with the breath. So your feet are hip distance apart and parallel. Don't turn the toes out. Bringing your right hand to the ground underneath your face. And if you need to, you bend your knees here to um, get your hand to the floor. You can also be on fingertips. And then we twist with the breath. Inhale and lift the left arm up. As you breathe out, hand comes down. Inhale to twist the other arm up. Exhale to bring the arm down. And then keep going in your own time. Are you leaning your weight into the front of your feet and into that hand that is on the ground? Don't lean back into back to thighs and into your hips. Move with the breath. We're going to twist one more time to the left, one more time to the right in your own time. After you've done those two twists, sink down into the forward bend again. And on an inhale, we float the arms up to standing, exhaling hands to heart. We're moving into a couple of stir namaskar. In breath, stretch the arms up. On your exhale, forward fold, tip to your toes. Half lift, stretch the chest forward. Step or hop back into your plank. With an exhale, lowering down. Pulling shoulders to spine as you roll through into your back bend and then taking it back to hold your down dog for a few breaths. Immediately check the alignment of heels back behind your ankles. They're not turning in towards each other. Palms and fingers flat on the mat. Fingers have even spaces between them. And looking forward, step, walk, or hop your feet to your hands again and sink down deep as you exhale. On an in breath, rise, arms to the sky, leaning to spine as you lift, exhaling, hands to heart. On your next in breath, reach your arms up again, exhale and forward fold, half lift as you breathe in. Step or hop back into your plank and flow yourself down as you exhale. In breath into the back bend. On your exhale, lift the pelvis, downwards dog again. Hang the head. Let your neck traction out through the heaviness of your skull. And then we take feet forward to the top of the mat. On an out breath, fall down deep over the thighs. On your in breath, rise, arms float up. Exhaling, hands to center. Let's take it into a chair, bending into the knees. Inhale and lift the arms. Exhale to forward fold. On an in breath, half lift. And now you're going straight back into your down dog. We're going to take a twisting lunge, right foot steps up, heel under your right knee, left hand on the ground, right arm up to the sky. Try and get that right arm straight up over your shoulder. And as you stretch into your fingertips, sink your right thumb and hip down. Hip goes down, fingers go up. Moving into a low lunge, drop the left knee, sweep your arms up, warrior one. Get the elbows locked straight if you can, arms parallel to each other. We're keeping the legs as they are. Sweep your arms back behind you, interlace the fingers, open the chest, lifting your chest up nice and high. 
Keep lifting up out of your lower back as well. Focus on your breath. Notice each breath as it rolls in and out. Releasing palms to the ground. An in-breath steps you into plank. On your exhale, lower. Pull your chest up. And then make your way back to your down dog. Straight into the twisting lunge on the other side. Left foot forward. Heel directly under your knee. Right hand down. Left arm reaches up. You can look up to those left fingertips. Make sure your back heel is pointing straight up. Knee pointing straight down. Taking it into the low lunge. Back knee drops. Arm sweep up alongside your ears to warrior one. With your breath, taking your arms back behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Stretch the chest fully open. Keep your mind focused on the breath. making our way into our plank, hands to the mat, in breath steps the left leg back, exhale and lower down, roll through on an inhale and make your way back to your downwards facing dog. From down dog we're going to take a squat, feet to hands, step walk or hop it up, get the heels on the ground so you make the feet wide enough to get the heels down, lift your heart high, And then pull up in the inner arches of the feet and put more weight onto the outer edge of the foot. Standing forward bend, turn the feet parallel, swing your arms back behind you, clasp point the left fingers, hang your head down, tip forwards into the front of the shins and press your knees out away from each other. And now we're going to go back into our squat. Release your arms. Heels stay on the ground as the hip sink. And this time we're going to twist it. Right hand down, left arm reaches up. So you've got that right arm pushing back into the right knee and thigh. And look back over your left fingertips. And then bringing the left arm down to the inside of the left leg. Balancing on the left fingers. Reach the right arm all the way back and up. Try to keep your weight on the outer edges of your legs. Shape of the legs now is going to make you want to lean the knees in towards each other. Don't do that. Keep pressing the knees out away from each other. And then right arm down, back into your standing forward bend. Bring those heels under the hips, feet parallel. Sink all the way down. And on an inhale, float up to standing. Exhaling the hands to center. We're moving into our chair pose. Bend into the knees. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. After you lengthen, taking yourself back into your downwards dog. And we're going to take another twist. Right foot steps forward. Lift the arms up to warrior one lunge. And on an exhale, bring your hands to your chest. Lift the elbows high and then take left elbow over the right thigh or knee. Try not to dip that left shoulder all the way down and lift the right elbow all the way up. Left shoulder is higher than your right knee. Your forearms are at a diagonal angle with the right elbow pointing back. Now keep the hook of the elbow over your leg. Look down to the ground in front of your toes. And then step your left foot forwards to touch your right foot. Sit the hips down low in your twisting chair. 
On an inhale, come up to standing, hands to chest. On an exhale, bend the knees, twist to the other side, right elbow over the left knee. Looking down to the mat. Always step your right leg back into your lunge. Wiggle the toes all the way back so that your left knee is over your left heel. And then get those forearms at a diagonal angle again. We're taking hands to the mat. Either stepping your left leg into plank or swinging it back to the sky, down dog flip. On your inhale, travel forward. On your exhale, lower down. Roll through the back bend and make your way back to down dog. From down dog, left foot steps forward, warrior one lunge, arms up alongside your hip. On an exhale, bringing hands to chest. We twist into the same side again. Right elbow over the left thigh. Make sure that right shoulder is higher than your left knee. Arms at a diagonal angle to the floor, not left elbow straight up over the right. Now look down at the ground in front of your left toes and then step your right foot forward to touch your left foot, keeping the knees bent. Sit down deep into your twisting chest. On an in-breath, we're coming up to standing, legs straighten, hands to chest. On an out-breath, bend the knees, twist to the other side, left elbow over the right knee. Locking down to the ground, squeeze your tummy tight as you step your left leg back into your lunge on this side. Get the toes all the way back. Right knee is over your right heel. Forearms at a diagonal angle to the floor. Squeeze the muscles tight in your legs. And palms to the ground, either stepping right leg into plank or swinging the right leg back to the sky. Inhale forwards. Flow all the way through your transition, back to down dog. From down dog, step walk or hop feet into your squat. And then we're going to take a bind here. So you can either repeat what you did the last time or we take the full bind. So right fingers to the ground, left arm twist up and back. And then maybe wrapping that right forearm on the front of the right shin, left arm back behind you. Chest twist towards the left. And now press your inner ankles out away from each other to get the weight onto the outer edges of your feet. Keep circling the left shoulder all the way back. And then releasing up, left hand to the ground, right arm twist up, either holding there or taking the bind. Again, the spine is going to make the knees and the ankles lean in towards the ground. So press them out away from each other and keep twisting your chest towards the right. Lift that right shoulder all the way up and back. We're releasing up. We're coming to standing forward bend. Bring your feet to hip distance apart or slightly wider. Swing your arms back behind you. Pass to interlace the fingers. And now you're going to keep left leg straight. Bend your right knee. Drop your right shoulder towards that right knee. Or if you can, you get it to touch. Twist your chest towards the left. And make sure you're not leaning back into your bum forwards to the front of your shins. Let's change it to the other side. Right leg straightens, left shoulder down, turning your chest towards the right. Now 
and then coming to center and release your arms down on an in breath rise arms overhead exhale hands to chest with an in breath arms float up on your out breath forward fold lengthen the chest forward taking yourself straight back to downwards facing dog from down dog we're taking a warrior two right foot forward left heel turns in and down circle yourself up and open once you're there make sure that right knee is not forwards over the toes get the right knee over your right heel you look over the right fingertips if you want to or in the direction of your chest feel what's better for your neck and now with an inhale stretch the right leg straight and reverse triangle left hand to the left leg right arm reaches all the way over and then coming up on an exhale bend your right knee either elbow to thigh or fingers to the ground and reaching the left arm all the way over your head coming into your full side angle pose pull the inner ankles up away from the floor particularly that back one don't curve the foot down to the ground lift the inner ankle up and now we're going to move into half moon so either left arm straight up over your shoulder or hand to your hip look down to the ground we're stepping onto the right foot balance your fingertips on the ground right knee can be bent or straight as that left leg lifts flex your left ankle and maybe left arm all the way up to the sky keep pressing your right big toe down hard into the mat don't let it lift Now carefully stepping back into your warrior two and with your breath cart your hands to the ground either right leg into plank or back to down dog split on an in breath flow forwards and down travel yourself all the way back to down dog you're going straight into warrior two left foot steps forward circle up and open turn the back heel in and down Make sure that your front knee is over the front heel. Push that knee nice and wide. Softening the shoulders down, away from your ears. With an in-breath, left knee straightens. Exhale to reverse back into your reverse triangle. Soften the shoulders. Coming up, get a bend into the left knee, either elbow to thigh or fingers to the ground on the inside of your foot. Reach your right arm all the way over your head. Make the back leg really straight and strong. Lift the inner arch of your right foot up away from the mat. And then for your half moon, either lifting your right arm straight up or bringing hand onto your right hip. Look at the ground as you step onto the left foot and then right leg goes up. Now make sure your left toes are pointing straight forward. Don't turn them in or out. Squeeze that left big toe down. That's where you get your balance from. We're stepping back into warrior two and then cartwheeling over, hands to the ground. Left leg into plank or flying it back to down dog split. Take your transition in your own time. Now we're going to move it to standing forward bend and we're going to take our first proper bind. So feet walk, step or hop up, feet are hip distance apart or slightly wider. If you're using a strap, you're going to take that strap into your left hand 
bend the knees a little bit. Take your right arm through the gap between the legs. Twist your forearm up behind the back of your right thigh. Now make sure that your arm is not straight between your two legs. Get your upper arm as close to your right knee as you can. And then if you're using the strap, take that arm up and drop your strap down to your right hand. Or clasp or interlace fingers behind your back. Lift the left shoulder high. And then maybe stretching the legs straight. Sinking the top of your head down. Like all standing forward bends, tip your bum forwards over your head. Heavy on both your feet. And then release, bend the knees, we go straight to the other side, left arm through. If you're using a strap, hold it in the right hand, drop your strap down to your left hand, or clasping or interlacing fingers behind you, and then maybe legs stretch straight. Try and get that right shoulder all the way up. Give it a good twist here. releasing your arms out and just hang down for a moment rolling the shoulders rolling the wrists if you need to on an in breath float all the way up exhaling hands down Next inhale, reach your arms straight back up again. On your out breath, forward fold. After you half lift, we're taking it back into downwards dog. From down dog, right foot steps forwards, warrior two. We're straight in the right knee. Arch yourself back, reverse triangle. And now when you come up, we're going to bend the right knee. We're coming into side angle pose, either arm over your head or taking the half bind, wrapping your left arm behind your back, maybe hooking your fingers into the top of the right thigh or hip. Or taking the full bind with the right arm underneath your thigh. Again, you can use the strap holding in left hand and dropping it behind your back. And once you get the bind, lift your shoulders. We want the right shoulder higher than your right knee and thigh. Take the left shoulder all the way back. Keep lifting your right waist and ribs up away from your right thigh. And let's take it into a bound triangle, stretching the right leg straight. Now what you're going to want to do is tip your chest forward and drop the shoulders. So lift your side waist. We want the spine parallel to the floor. Lean towards your back. Take your shoulders towards your spine. And then let go of the hands. Hands to the floor. Step into your plank. Take a transition. From your down dog, left foot steps forward straight up into warrior two. Holding it there for a few breaths. Left leg straightens. And reverse triangle, left arm over your ear. Keep the breath moving. And when you come up, we bend the left knee, either left hand to the ground and right arm over your head, or taking the half bind, wrapping the right arm back behind you. You can hook your fingers into the top of the left thigh or hip or taking the full bind, either holding on hands or strapping the right hand and dropping that down behind you into the left hand. Once again, once you've got the bind, 
if you're doing it, lift those left ribs, lift left shoulder higher than your left knee. Lean towards your upper back. Keep taking the right shoulder back. And then keep those left ribs and waist lifting. Maybe stretch the left leg straight into your bound triangle. Tip towards your back. Don't lean towards your chest. And lift the right shoulder all the way up over the left shoulder. Releasing your bind. Step into plank with the left leg. Lower flat down onto the mat. Now we're going to turn over onto back. And we're going to come into a bridge pose. Go bending into your knees. Bring the feet parallel, heels and the knees. Don't bring your heels to touch your bum, that's too close. And then squeeze the shoulder blades together and we roll the hips up. Once your hips are up, you reach your arms towards each other underneath you. Interlace your fingers. We press the forearms and the hands down to get the wrist down. Push from the shoulders first, then the upper arms, then the elbows and forearms, then the wrists and hands. Don't dig your chin into your throat. A little bit of space there. Really push down with the back of your head into the floor. And then releasing hips all the way down. We're going to take feet out to the sides of the mat and gently roll the knees left to right. As you breathe out, knees roll down to one side. As you breathe in, lift them up to center. Make sure those arms and shoulders are fully down on the ground. Relax your neck. Relax your throat and your mouth. And then pointing knees up. You step your feet back into hip distance apart. Bring your right ankle onto your left thigh and press the knee away from you. Lift your left leg straight up to the sky. You hold onto the left thigh with your hands. Holding onto the leg with your hands will lift the shoulders. So try to let the shoulders sink down towards the ground behind you. And then you can really press up into that lifted heel. Get the full length through the back of the thigh, knee and calf. Make sure this right knee is moving away from you. Keep your right ankle on your left thigh as you bend your left knee and drop the left foot to the ground. Then take the right foot down and change sides. Left ankle to right thigh, press the left knee away from you and then lift that right leg straight up. We're holding onto the right leg with your hands Sink the shoulders down, relax your chest, and stretch up into your right heel. Keep moving the left knee and thigh away from your body. Keep the left ankle on the right leg as you bend your right knee and drop the right foot to the ground. Then take the left foot down. So stretch your legs straight on and out on the mat. Interlace your fingers and turn your palms towards your feet. With an inhale, lift your arms all the way up over your head until your hands get to the floor, almost to the floor. As you breathe out, bring your arms forwards and down to your legs again. And do that a few times with your breath. Inhale to lift the arms up. Exhale to lower down. We're just balancing out the shoulder joints here. Next time you bring your arms down, you release your hands and drop the arms to the floor. Bend your knees with feet touching. 
across your left thigh over your right thigh. We're coming to eagle legs, so the thighs are completely squeezed in, touching each other. And now we twist, knees to the right. So the left leg is on top, knees drop to the right. Flatten your left shoulder down into the ground. Don't let it lift. And legs and knees come up to center and twist them cross the right thigh over the left and drop your knees to the other side make sure the right shoulder stays down and relax that neck get even softer in the chest shoulders and upper back Just bring your knees back up to center. And before we go into Shavasana, to hug your knees to your chest. Maybe rock a little bit from side to side or just squeeze the legs up. And centering yourself. Take a two-minute Shavasana, stretch those legs out on the floor, flop the feet open, flatten the shoulder blades on the mat behind you, and close your eyes. your arms out over your head give yourself a good full stretch open and then hug your knees into your chest again from here rocking yourself up to sitting Thanks, everyone. Well done. Namaste.